going to show you how to make this delicious chocolate cake. It's extremely easy to do. So let's have a look together on this recipe. Have a look how easy this cake is. To do this cake, we need to put all the ingredients here, except the boiling water. Remember, all the ingredients are at the bottom in the description, so have a look for the amounts. So, I'm putting plain flour, caster sugar, cocoa powder, oh, lots of it, two three-range eggs, some vegetable oil, and now we need to add some essence to it. So I'm adding vanilla extract to it. Give it a good shake. At the same time, put your oven on to warm up. 180 degrees fan oven. So I'm putting one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Lovely. And now we need some baking powder and some soda. So again, I will Put approximately one and a half teaspoon of this as well each. I'm going to mix this until all the ingredients will combine nicely together before I add any boiling water to it. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my baking things and I'm using two 20 centimeters in diameter things. So let's mix this all together now. So you can see that the mixture is very, very thick at present. So I'm going to be adding very slowly boiled water, little at a time, 250 ml of boiled water. The mixture will be very liquidy, so that's okay, that's what we're looking for. So now just divide this into equally into both things. I'm going to bake this now in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes, 108 degrees fan oven. The cakes are cooling now and now I can start my ganache. I've got here 200 grams of dark chocolate. I'm going to add 200 ml of double cream and I'm going to melt the chocolate now on the low heat, constantly stirring. The chocolate has melted now. I'm going to use electric whisk now just to make sure the consistency is nice and smooth. I'm going to leave the ganache now for approximately two hours to cool. The ganache set very nicely now, it's nice and thick. So I'm going to put half of the ganache in the middle of the cake first and spread it out, out evenly. Now we can place the second cake on top and try to make sure you put it in the middle so it's nice and level. Press it down gently and then place the rest of the ganache on top and if you have enough you can also cover the sides. You will have enough ganache to cover all the cake. To make the side slightly smoother, use the spatula, put it on one side and just turn your plate just like that so the edges are nice and smooth. Now we're going to decorate the cake. For this part you can use whatever you wish. I'm using strawberries today and some blueberries and I always leave the green part on the strawberries because it looks more presentable. And also I've got some marshmallows here, a couple of different sizes. So just put your strawberries and all the fruits just in the middle of the cake until you're happy with the look. The cake is ready. It looks absolutely delicious and it was so easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe.